In less than one hour, my research group is having a site visit from our government sponsor to decide the future of our funding. The annual progress report for another grant is due by 5 p.m., and a major research proposal has to be mailed out in a few minutes. On top of this, many of the graduate students are on strike. Worst of all, I'm on the qualifying exam committee and can't solve any of the problems. I'm quantum physicist Paul Quiat, and this is the worst four hours of my life. Previously on 240. Okay, so as you guys know, our government sponsors are coming to visit us. They're going to be here in less than an hour. What are we required to do? Well, we have promised to these government sponsors and um, we will demonstrate to them a working quantum computer when they come to visit. And if we don't do that, we could lose all of our funding. We're screwed. Number two, you'll be responsible for meeting the sponsors and keeping track of them and bringing them to our laboratory. Okay. I've got bad news, our laser tube is broken. Damn, we needed that laser tube in order for our demonstration for our sponsors. Hey John, uh, if the graduate students go on strike, we're gonna have to do everything we can to figure out what's going on. Do you know how to find out a way? I have a way to find out. AF section's got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho. More free food or I won't show. Hey, hey, ho, ho. AM section's got to go. Good afternoon. Uh, you may have heard that there's a strike today, and so I am filling in for your TA. I am Jan Kane, and I'm the department budget director. And so what I know about today's lab is that if you push this button, two lights light up. And if you push this button, one lights up. What I mostly want to focus on is, do you have any idea how much these things cost? They cost a lot of money, and as you know, money is tight, so be careful with all of the items in the lab. Here's a circuit. Uh, the first thing you do when you see a circuit is that you don't plug it in. Uh, that would destroy the beauty of actually trying to understand the circuit. What you need to do is write down the quantum circuit equation. Um, you know, most people would write down V equals IR. My equation is just much too simple. What you really need to write down is the Schrodinger equation for a circuit. The Schrodinger equation for a circuit basically, basically looks like the following. Forget about the P squared over 2M term. That has nothing to do with the circuit. It's really all the interactions. In fact, it's a strongly coupled theory. So really, you shouldn't even write down the Hamiltonian. What you really need to do is start with the basic equation for QCD. You really need to start with the yang mills supersymmetric theory. And once you have that, you can then start to figure out how the circuit works. Mel, I need, to, I need you to go deep undercover. What's the mission? Uh, we need you to become a trusted ally of the grad students to find out their plan to strike. Okay, I'm on it. Now, I should warn you, your predecessor, Wendy, was undercover on a similar assignment. What happened to her? That's just it. We don't know. Paul, I'm afraid there's a problem with this proposal. It requires a chancellor's signature, and we don't have a chancellor. We've only got an acting chancellor. Damn it, if we don't get this research proposal in, it could jeopardize the fate of the entire country. Look, isn't... I know this isn't standard protocol, but couldn't we just copy the old Chancellor's signature from some other document? Oh, Paul, that, that's really against the rules. I, I, I... Didn't you take your ethics training? I don't think we can do that. Right. Okay, how about this? We just scratch something illegible in the space, and then what they interpret is up to them. Well... You can certainly do illegible. Um, okay, but I'm not really comfortable. Look, I'll take full responsibility. You can come visit me in prison. But if we don't get this thing submitted, there might not be any more prisons. Uh, okay. Uh, Paul, I'd like you to uh, work on this uh, Pascal Mechanics uh, problem for the call. Uh, what is it? It's, uh, it's about a cow. Uh, it's, it's, got, it's, it's a biological physics problem for the biological physics students. And it's an ultra relativistic, non spherical cow. Uh, fired from a catapult, and uh, you're going to have to use this mechanics, uh, 
um, an organization group and many body physics to work out how many fragments the cow disintegrates into when it lands. Mm. You think you can do that? Um, sure, sure, I'm sure I can. Do you Why couldn't you made it a spherical cow? Physics communication, Celia Elliott. Celia, I'm in trouble. I have to submit my new NSF report, but I can't remember the password to my account. Do you have any idea what it is? Well, it's a woman's name, and it rhymes with a female body part. Oh, okay, I'll get right on it. Hi, T. Gibson. Gabe, it's Celia. We've got a problem. Professor Kuyat needs to submit a proposal in less than 20 minutes, and he's forgotten the password on his NSF account. Do you have any idea what it was? He says it's a woman's name, and it rhymes with a female body part. A uh, woman's name? Reminds with female body parts? Could you see what you could do? We'll do. Uh, I'll get back to you. The following takes place in real time between 9.56 and 10 a.m. Hi, Professor. I'm a pre-med student in Physics 102, and I'm afraid I failed the first four midterms. If I don't get an A in this class, they'll never let me into Harvard Medical School. Please, isn't there anything I could do to raise my grade? Hmm. Should I tell her that I'm not even teaching Physics 102? Pre-med students do have their uses. But I can't do this all on my own. No, I know I'm no Superman. I'm no Superman. We out here. Hey, boss, I think you better get in here right away. I'll be right there. Look, I'll tell you what, here's a problem that you should be able to solve. Bring me back a solution by 6 p.m. and I'll see what I can do about raising your grade. Number two, what's up? Boss, I just got word. The sponsor just pulled up. Damn it, we needed that time. They're here early. Rhea, um, intercept them in the parking lot. Take them to the lab, but bring them by way of the basement and ESV. That should buy us at least a little bit of time. Okay, on my way. Thanks. What's up, number two? What happened to him? Well, somehow it seems like he got an eraser stuck in his ear. We've been trying everything we can do, but we just can't seem to figure it out. But I think I have an idea. What, what is it? Well, so far, we've been trying to just kind of yank the eraser out, but it's not seeming to work. So I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to try and have to push it through. But, but we need him alive. Don't you have any idea?